Michael, I know we are looking forward to this. This is Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 campaign length. Let's get into it. Brandon Morgan over at Insider Gaming. While a single player campaign certainly isn't the focal point for a horde shooter, especially when it includes PvE and PvP game modes. It's nice knowing you'll get your money's worth on all fronts. That said, here's what we know about the Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 campaign length. You certainly shouldn't expect a massive campaign of epic proportions, but it's a comfortable size for a weekend romp. It takes approximately 8 to 10 hours to finish the campaign in Space Marine 2 on standard difficulty settings. If you lower the difficulty, it may take less time. If you increase the difficulty, of course, it could take up to around 20 or sorry, 12 or more hours. Furthermore, as you can play through the campaign cooperatively, having a human partner by your side instead of the AI should help you finish the mission a little quicker. You can expect approximately five to six PvE missions on launch and more to come in the future as per the studio's year one roadmap. Like, uh, like in World War Z, PvE missions will likely be highly replayable in Space Marine 2 as you'll want to unlock much of the game's cosmetics, including weapons and armor skins. You'll likely play through each mission repeatedly to score points or currency necessary to unlock equipment. Michael, here's my take on this. Eight to 10 hours, dude, I missed that time frame for a while because mm. everything seems to be like 50, 60, 80 hours. So to get into something that's eight to 10 hours, to me right now, feels like the sweet spot. Yeah, this feels like a perfect length for a game to talk about that maybe doesn't, uh, it's not campaign focused, right? It's not like you're gonna, you know, I don't know how deep the story is gonna be, but yeah, eight to 10 hours, Perfect. Obviously, pick up a buddy if you can. Maybe you lower that. But yeah, I, I agree with you. That's like a, a three, four sitting sweet spot with a buddy. Absolutely love to see that. I'm curious how replayable the missions are in terms of enjoyment, right? Obviously, it sounds like you're going to yeah. want to replay them. I'm really curious if, if they're going to be enjoyable. If, I, if I'm on the mission for the third or the fourth time and I'm just trying to get currency, that I think is what will make or break this game for me is if it's like, oh, I can do this differently. If it's just like, all right, here comes this wave, and I'm going to shoot him, and then I'm going to throw my grenade. If it just becomes repetitive just because I'm trying to grind currency, that's where I can see myself falling off. But yeah, I love the length of the campaign. Five to six PvE missions, not too bad. Obviously, the PvP mode as well. I'll definitely check that out. But as long as those PvE missions have some sort of unique replayability, this game sounds like this current launch state is going to be absolutely awesome. For somebody like myself to come in check it out have some fun and then pop out when i'm done in like 10 15 hours with everything on the other side of it michael there's also pvp game modes which will extend the lifespan of the third person action game for many if pvp isn't your thing there's nothing wrong with moving on to another game while waiting for the pve missions to release so there is the other multiplayer aspect yep. to it as well dude co-op i can't wait I think that's the biggest thing for me. I'm like already calling up my brother going, yo, dude, let's go. Right? Like that's, we've been looking for something lately to kind of get in. What is a co-op game that we can play? It really isn't kind of anything hitting right now. Space Brain 2 though has that sweet spot of, okay, you know what? Let's go out. Let's just shoot up a bunch of stuff and have a great time. It has me interested to see where we can take this. The three person co-op as well. So thanks Apex. And we, Dude, I don't, the three thing, the three people, is just such a weird thing to me lately. Is I don't know. Everybody seems to be getting on that bandwagon. But either way, get into co-op. I'm looking forward to it. It's nice to have something that doesn't take me to grind out for hours on end or getting into another games of service where you have to kind of keep sticking around. Dude, I just don't have the time lately. So I love the fact that it is literally just eight to ten hours. Get in, enjoy the game, touch on the multiplayer a little bit if you want to get in that PvP side. If not, then just bounce out.